Uh, hi guys, my name is Eric, my name is Yi Fei Yang, and uh, currently I'm doing interesting research in IoT security in diverse environments. So to give a background on what is IoT devices, IoT are Internet of Things, which is a system of interrelated computing devices. For example, you may have them uh, at your home, at your house, such as Google Home, smart fridges, and uh, smart smoke detectors, smoke detectors. That everything connects to Wi-Fi, connects to the internet, it is a part of IoT things. And currently, IoT devices is one of the most uh, fast-growing industry in the world, and uh, it's projected of 25 billion devices by 2025. And in this way, there's a lot of devices, a lot of complicated networks to deal with, and has a lot of issues to be raised. Uh, currently, I want to focus on one issue we have is that IoT is diverse interactions. Uh, for example, if you have a system that uh, is very complicated in your know, one's house, as normally to see, you have, uh, for example, a small detector and a door that is a smart door that detects that closes the door when the person leaves and opens the door when the person arrives or some emergency happens, such as small detector rings, uh, so the person is evacuated. And we also have a Google Home that controls the smart devices in our house, for example, the stove, the oven. And some malicious attack can actually hack the Google Home. And in this way, one device gets uh, hacked in the entire system will make the Google Home can be able to uh, can be able to open the stove, which make the smoke smoke detectors detect the smoke and open the door. So one device uh, gets hacked will maybe cause the entire system gets uh, compromised, and our security in one's household will be compromised also. And that is one of the most important issues we're addressing. Uh, in the world right now, as IoT starts to grow. And the current progress we have in research is people are trying to build some control flow graphs to see if there's any security, potentially security issues in the IoT household network. Uh, for example, the example we had before, uh, the small detector controls the door, the uh, Google Home controls the small detector and the stove and everything in there, and door controls itself. So the door will be the very bottom of the control flow graph and smoke detector will be above the door, and Google Home will be above the smoke detector. And in this way, we can see the actual, what, whatever behaviors or any rules we have, uh, such as the door, the door can be controlled by the smoke detector, and to see if there's any unsafe, uh, unsafe, unsafe behaviors can be caused by some uh, manipulation of rules, uh, for, such as something higher above is compromised, we will make everything else below it compromised also. And I'm very interested in this field, and uh, currently I've been discussing the issue with Professor Enzo Kang. Uh, he's a part of ISR research, and he has done a lot of research on formal methods, and also in IoT security. Um, one of the things I'm interested in is building an infrastructure um, that helps us in detecting such unsafe, uh, unsafe behaviors between the complex IoT device network. And Professor Kane actually has done some research before. He has done a signal sending between uh, IoT devices sending signals to each other to see if, every, if everything is authorized. And we're trying, I'm trying to do a, pursue a similar interest and similar research field. And also, Professor Kane is really, is really interested in doing formal research for security proofs. And for me, I, I have a really good mathematical background. I'm really interested in formal methods also. And I really want to prove my infrastructure I built for my research is correct. And I'm still discussing with Professor Kane the details of my research, and I hope to have everything done by the proposal. Thank you. Yeah.